Hello, world. How you beautiful people doing? Good evening, Shia. Good evening, Zazu. <laughs> How y'all doing? Look, this knows this for you Elder Scrolls Online fans. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. Elder Scrolls Online Oblivion Chapter adds a Skyrim-like companion system. It says, if you're an Elder Scrolls Online fan, you will know that the next year-long adventure will be taking place back to Oblivion, the setting of 2006 Elder Scrolls 4. The lid has been lifted on what the coming expansion will bring in a global reveal event, and alongside plenty else, it also bring it also be bringing something players will remem remember fondly from Elder Scrolls 5 and NPC companion system. So it says here, it says here, I think that the big new system that I am really excited about is is companion. Elder Scrolls Online creative director Rich Lambert tells us in an interview about the Gates of Oblivion expansion. Companions are essentially your permanent adventuring buddies, so you unlock them in the Blackwood chapter by doing some quests. And once you have them unlocked, you can level them up. You can equip gear on them, and you can assign their roles and their abilities. So you can choose for them to be more of a tanky healer or damage de uh, dealer role. Accordingly, as Lambert explained, there's a report system, no report system, tied to the companions, which means they have specific likes and dislikes. As you level up through those. You unlock more quests and it says here exciting news if you're a Skyrim Skyrim <laughs> fan who finally recalls having the eternally grumpy Nord house Carl Lydia formidable S shield brother Vicast and Farkas vampire pal S S Serena or one of Skyrim and many other follow, follower folks have your back in battle and chirp endlessly throughout endless, endlessly throughout it also a much requested feature the Elder Scrolls online as Lambert tells us and then it shows a little video here for you to watch on Twitter but then it says here it's definitely something that we have seen players ask for a lot. Especially, see, they're listening to gamers. I wish Nintendo would do that for once, but anyway. Especially those that have played Skyrim. Companions were a big part of that. That is our way to give players another avenue to role play, the, role play their characters and develop social bonds without necessarily having to do that with players. While it sounds like you won't be able to take them into PV PvP fight, you should be able to bring your chosen companions anywhere outside of PvP and in content like four players dungeon that can replace other players so you and a buddy can tackle one with your two respective companions make up the number make up the numbers neat <laughs> the gates of oblivion the gates of oblivion launches with the flames of ambition dlc on March 8th and Blackwood chapter on June 1st. So anyway, <clears throat> so look like some good news for you Elder Scrolls fans. Sounds exciting. The Gates of Oblivion. Hmm. 
and now you can have a companion oh yeah game's gonna be fun see me personally i'm still trying to get off the first stage even though i got the game and i got i got all the expansions i'm still trying to figure out who is the man in the hooded figure <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm still trying to figure out that part you know because i got some work to do in that game by the way and um i did now you know there uh Bethesda is adding another chapter to the Elder Scrolls Online. So Elder Scrolls Online is keep um, Bethesda. They're keeping the ball moving, you know, and keeping players, you know, coming back for more. So you you best believe that after this expansion, there will be another one, you know. So be on the lookout for that. But for right now, that's all the news I got to report to you guys. And nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing, or Dark Knight. I'm gone. Peace. Oh. Do, 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 do.